It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. One of the first mature movies I ever seen as a kid was, in fact, The Matrix. Now, the first time I saw The Matrix, I was in love with the characters, with the action pieces, and so, on the surface level, I truly enjoy that movie. However, of course, as soon as I got the internet, I started researching about The Matrix, and I saw like a whole list of stuff that I completely missed during the first time that I seen The Matrix, because a lot of film analysis went into detail about the symbolism behind the movie, and so every single time, I rewatch The Matrix, I see something new every single time. Like, movies nowadays do not have that, because most movies, of course, not for, bad, for better or worse, obviously, for me at least, but I think that most movies, they try not to, you know, be thought-provoking or, like, you know, interesting. And so, when I saw The Matrix, I appreciate the action, and of course, I appreciate the symbolism for every single repeat of watching. However, the other day, I found this thread on Netflix, and I swear to God, like, this is like the worst kind of film analysis I've ever seen of that movie. And so for this video, we're going to respond to that thread, and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions about it. For years, fans of The Matrix have discussed the films through a trans lens. If you heard this theory before, or just learned about it, here's a thread breaking down the trans analogy of the film from trans writers and critics. Maybe it's me. Maybe because I'm just like super uber young. However, I do not remember a single time after the movie was released into the theater that people were talking about transgenderism and the Matrix. I've seen people talk about the symbolism with the red pill and the blue pill. I've seen people just talk about like Christianity and stuff. However, I've never seen anybody ever talk about how transgender The Matrix is. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm very much open to listening to ideas about film analysis of The Matrix. However, the examples that are provided in this thread are super bad. Like, super bad. Not to mention, it's worth noting that the Waskowski brothers were actually men during that time period before they transitioned into women. And so, I think it's like a different kind of time period to, you know, compare it to. But, uh, let's continue on. Call it a wild coincidence if you will, but it's worth noting that one of the very first and last thing you see on the screen in the Matrix is the word trans. I am not some sort of super programmer at all, but I'm very sure, very, very sure that the word trans on that screen actually means transmission. So, in the context of a computer system, trans means transmission. Now, in the past, of course, I grew up in the 90s. I do not remember a single person using the word trans to refer to transgender. Like, back in those time periods, of course, I remember that people say, like, transsexual for transgender. Instead of intersex people, they said harapodite. Instead of, of course, like, you know, like, g gender nonconformity or whatever, they said tomboy. And so, during that time period, the word trans did not refer to transgender people. And so, to me at least, this example is very much absurd. And then, there's the whole red pill, blue pill connection. Not only is the pill literally Neo's gateway to seeing the world as it is, and the systems built to define and control his identity, but it's also a metaphor for hormone therapy. Ha 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 ha! Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude! You just got to be kidding me. Now, the idea of the red and the blue pill, it did not originate from the Matrix at all. As a matter of fact, the idea of the red pill and the blue pill 
comes directly from the movie Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, that movie was, like, made in the early 90s, and so that movie actually had the concept of the red and the blue pill way before The Matrix. Swallow this. What is it? It's a symbol of your desire to return to reality. Inside your dream, you'll fall asleep. As you guys can see in that clip, the whole entire idea of the red pill or the blue pill never ever had the origin of about hormone therapy. It's about seeing the world as it is. So I have no idea where they get this idea that the red pill and the blue pill is supposed to be about transgenderism. Look at bullet time, a technique to split time. Bullet time gives the sensations of two temporalities at once, an effect with the experience of gender transition and its multiple embodiments across time. You see guys, trying to dodge every single last bullet in the room it's not supposed to look cool or anything like that. You see, the main reason why Neo is dodging those bullets is because Neo want to turn into a girl. There's also the character Snitch. Hey, that kind of rhymes like bitch. Uh, yeah, that's like a terrible joke, but uh, let's continue on. There's also the character Snitch, who was originally written as a trans masculine person. As Lily Wagorski says, her and Lena's initial plan for Snitch to present as a man in the real world and a woman in the Matrix. This is the only valid point I found this whole entire stretch so far, because everything else that they point out was just absolute garbage. Upon waking up, Neo begins his transition from one identity, Thomas A. Anderson, a name given to him by the machines, to the one he sculpts for himself, Neo, his chosen name. How does that prove that Neo is somehow transgender? It's just, this is kind of reaching. Like, how could you say, well, you see, Neo welcomed the Matrix, and so therefore, he must be a woman. Like, no! There's no examples of that guy ever expressing to be a transgender. Ever. In the final scene in the Matrix, the camera zooms towards the words system failure and code. Neo says, you're afraid of us, you're afraid of change, as the camera pushes towards the letter M and F, quite literally creating a space between and beyond the gender binary. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, how can I explain this to a gender ideologue? You see, we as filmmakers use techniques to actually make things look cool. So, the technique of just zooming in towards those letters could happen to any amount of letters. The only thing that, of course, people are concerned about during the editing of the movie is to make sure that the movie sounds and looks pretty cool. So a transition shot between letters does not mean transgenderism. Look guys, like I said in the video, I'm open, like really open to the idea of transgender steams in the Matrix. I have no problem if there's actually transgender steams in the movie. However, the examples that's provided by Netflix are just really ridiculous. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.